In our series of videos on periodontology, in our video microscopic features of gingiva, we mentioned something about the gingival fibers which form a part of the connective tissue. These gingival fibers combined with the junctional epithelium form the dentogingival unit. So in this video, we will be elaborating in detail about what gingival fibers are, the types of gingival fibers and the attachment and function of each and every gingival fiber in detail. Watch the video till the end to understand it well. Hi, we at Dentarize welcome you all to a platform where we help you to conceptualize, visualize and memorize dentistry. To recall what we read in our previous video, the gingival connective tissue is composed of the cellular compartment and the extracellular compartment. The extracellular compartment is further composed of the fibers and the ground substance. The fibers particularly are of three types, the collagen fibers, the reticular fibers and the elastic fibers. The collagen fiber bundles present in the connective tissue of the gingiva form the gingival fibers. To study the gingival fibers in detail, they have been divided into two groups, the principal group and the secondary group. Let's discuss about these in detail now. Starting with the principal group, first of all, the first category of fibers within the principal group are the dentogingival fibers. To understand the course of fibers, we have to focus on the name itself dento and gingival that means these fibers originate from the dento part that means from the cementum of the tooth and splay laterally into the gingival part that means into the lamina propria of the gingiva. The function of these fibers is to provide gingival support. The course of these fibers is demarcated in the figure with red. The second category of fibers within the principal group are the alveolo-gingival fibers. Again from the name itself we can determine that these fibers start from the alveolar part that means from the bone or to be more particular from the periosteum of the alveolar crest. They progress coronally into the lamina propria of the gingiva as you can see in the figure. So from the name itself we can also determine its function that means these fibers connect the gingiva to the bone. Please observe the figure. The third category of fibers within the principal group are the dentoperiosteal fibers. Again from the name itself we can determine that these fibers start from the dento part that means from the cementum particularly near the cemento enamel junction please observe the figure and end up into the periosteal part that means the periosteum of the alveolar crest please observe the figure again. Thus from the name itself and from the attachment we can conclude that these fibers anchor the tooth to the bone and thus protect the periodontal ligament. The next category of fibers within the principal group are the circular fibers. The circular fibers are present within the free marginal gingiva and the attached gingiva but coronal to the alveolar crest thus encircling each tooth. Please observe the figure. These circular fibers maintain the contour and position of the free marginal gingiva. The next category of fibers within the principal group are the transeptal fibers. As you can see in the figure, the transeptal fibers connect the proximal surfaces of the adjacent teeth. That means they start from distal surface of one tooth and then end up into the mesial surface of the adjacent tooth. In this way, they maintain the relationship of the adjacent teeth. One more thing, these fibers are present coronal to the alveolar crest, thus they protect the interproximal bone as well. Now starting with the secondary group of gingival fibers, the first category within them are the periosteogingival fibers. From the name itself, we can determine that these fibers start from the periosteum of the alveolar process. But to be more particular, they start from the periosteum of the lateral aspect of alveolar process. Please observe the figure. They start from the periosteum of the lateral aspect of alveolar process and then splay into the gingival part, particularly into the attached gingiva. Thus, these fibers attach the gingiva to the bone. The next category of fibers within the secondary group are the interpapillary fibers. Again from the name itself we can determine that these fibers are present within the papilla. That means they connect 
one papilla to the another papilla they are present within the interdental gingiva of course and they provide support for the interdental gingiva the next category of fibers within the secondary group are the transgingival fibers as you can see in the figure and from the name itself we can determine that these fibers intertwine along the dental arch between and around the teeth and they are present within the attached gingiva these fibers secure the alignment of the teeth within the dental arch the next category of fibers within the secondary group are the intercircular fibers these fibers are different from the transeptal fibers to recall what transeptal fibers were transeptal fibers originate from the proximal surface of one tooth and then insert into the proximal surface of the adjacent tooth but unlike the transeptal fibers the intercircular fibers they do start from the cementum of the distal surface of one tooth they split buccally and lingually along the adjacent tooth and then insert into the mesial cementum of the next tooth the course of these fibers is indicated with the help of red arrows please observe the figure very carefully these intercircular fibers stabilize the teeth in the arch the next category of fibers within the secondary group are the intergingival fibers these intergingival fibers are present within the attached gingiva immediately subjacent to the epithelial basement membrane and they course mesodistally please observe the figure these fibers provide support and contour to the attached gingiva now the last category of fibers within the secondary group are the semicircular fibers you need to differentiate between the semicircular and the intercircular fibers unlike the intercircular fibers the semicircular fibers start from the proximal surface of one tooth then they go buccally or lingually along that very same tooth and they end up on the proximal surface on the other side of that very same tooth for example they start from the mesial surface of one tooth they go buccally and lingually around that same tooth and then they end up into the distal surface of that very same tooth these fibers maintain the contour and position of the free marginal gingiva please observe the figure very carefully these figures only will help you to differentiate between different kinds of fibers and to understand and learn the attachments also so collectively if we say the gingival fibers basically function to brace the marginal gingiva firmly against the tooth they provide the rigidity which is very much necessary to withstand the forces of mastication without being deflected away from the tooth surface they also function to unite the free marginal gingiva with the cementum of the root and the adjacent attached gingiva so this was all about gingival fibers in detail hope the video was helpful for you if you like our content please do not forget to like share and subscribe to our channel hit the bell icon so that you can get notified whenever we upload any new video suggestions are always welcome from your side stay tuned stay safe thank you for watching